What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. If, um, this is a free general collective reading for sign of Virgo. This will resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and the of your chart. Stuff is basic. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of uh, Virgo. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205, the link to the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to do donate. This is for all aspects of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts for additional message or messages that they do apply for you. Um, I appreciate all the love and support. We're at like 14,202 subscribers, so... If you think anyone else would like the channel, I appreciate the shares. I really, really, really do, you guys. All right. So uh, this is a free general oracle card reading for sign of Virgo. Please only take the messages that resonate. Please do not force anything that doesn't fit. Only take the message or messages that resonate and apply for you. It's very important, okay? I love you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, so I received two channelings as I was meditating on your energy for reading two of September 2022, Virgo. I heard serious regrets of the past was the first one. And the second one I heard um, a breakup coming soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Um, now, energies can be reversed. So serious regrets of the past could be somebody having serious regrets over you. Or you having serious regrets over a person or people, place, or situation of the past. How that resonates, it applies. Um, and a breakup coming soon could be you breaking up with person, people, place, or situation, or somebody else having a breakup and you witnessing it, um, um, or somebody breaking up with you. How that resonates, it applies. Some kind of breakup coming, whether you're involved in the breakup, or you're witnessing the breakup, or what have you, what have you, Virgo. How that resonates, it applies, okay? Spirit messages, you have a sign of Virgo. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. That could be the breakup energy, possibly, or the serious regrets of the past. Uh, whether you're having serious regrets of the past or somebody's regretting something over you, how that resonates and applies, or the breakup energy directly applies to you or indirectly applies to you, okay? Oh, my God. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Holy crap. I think one of you guys is about to either get broken up with or you're about to break up with person, people, place, or situation. Uh, well, person or person, probably. Or people, if you're in a polygamous relationship. Only you know your relationship status, not anybody else. There's monogamous relationships and there's polygamous. So, only you know what kind of relationship you're in there, Virgo. Holy crap. Spirit messages you have for sign of Virgo. For some, you can be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. If you are, they can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Name, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are Virgo. Basket, plenty, uh, I'm sorry, basket, recognition, reward for merit. Fair messages you have a sign of Virgo. A masculine Aquarius is very fond of a feminine Leo, and you're highly intuitive, and you know this. Okay, I heard a masculine um, Aquarius is very fond. You are right. Is what I just heard. You are right. Holy shit. Okay, so a masculine Aquarius is very fond of a feminine Virgo, um, sorry, not, not feminine Virgo, a fem Leo Virgo. A masculine Aquarius is very fond of a feminine Leo. I heard um, you're highly intuitive and you know this, and I heard you are right. So you're right. Um, if that resonates for you, 
or I mean, only you would know if that message applies for you or not, but it's some kind of masculine Aquarius energy, whoever this masculine Aquarius is to you, Virgo. I heard they're very fond um, of a femme Leo. Um, I heard you're highly intuitive and you have sensed that they are, and I heard you're right, they are. So they are very fond of a feminine Leo. Uh, whoever this femme Leo is in your life and how they resonate and apply, um, Virgo. I uh, feel you can be masculine or femme Virgo if that resonates for you. Um, the Leo could have Leo in our sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hamer, Jupiter charts. Both older people. Both older, both older people. So they're both older people. So I feel, I heard they're both older people. So I feel they could be 35, 36 or above. They could have Aquarius in their, or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hamer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, Virgo. Number two could be very significant number in one's life. Number two, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number two, strength. We also have fish and dragonfly, water sign, air sign energy, and the animal spirit cards. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead, great personal sorrow, recognition, reward for merit. Fish. A sneaky link you have had with a very sexual Pisces feminine is about to come to a halt. You don't want it to, but it is about to. About to happen through many series of chain of events. You're a masculine Virgo. Okay. This resonates for you. You're a masculine Virgo. You've had a very sneaky link sexual relationship with a Pisces feminine. Um... For a long time, okay, I heard for a long time. So you've had this very sneaky link sexual relationship with the Pisces Femme for a long time, I heard, Virgo Masculine, if that resonates for you. I heard through many series of chain events, it's about to come to a complete halt. Um, so this is your very sexual, sneaky link Pisces Feminine. They could have Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Ava, Jupiter charts. Um, if that resonates for you, I think you're about to have a lot of strength because apparently you like her sex obviously um she's a sneaky link so it's nothing serious um but you really love to have sex with her i'll tell you that so um it's you're about to have a lot of strength you could have leo in your chart she could have leo in her chart or you're just about to take on leo energy because you love to have sex with her but through many series of chain events it's about to come to a halt so i don't know why it's about to come to a halt but somehow you and her are not going to have sex anymore i'll tell you that and it's not a serious relationship it's just, it sounds strictly, it sounds very sexual, just strictly sexual, but you sure love to have sex with her, and you're, it's basically about to come to a halt here. You're about to have strength here. Um, I think it's about to give you personal sorrow, whoever you are, and you need to plan ahead for your sexual needs, possibly. For one, they're about to get very ill. For one, they're about to go to jail. And they will be there for a while. For one, they're about to get very ill. And for one, they're about to go to jail. They will be there a while. So it's at least two of you guys in the universe. For one of you guys, your sneaky, sexual, Pisces feminine is about to go to jail. And I heard they will be there a while. And for one, they're about to get ill. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Virgo. Dragonfly. A Cancer Feminine is about to stand up to a matriarchal Virgo Feminine in a huge way. It's about to shock the hell out of you. A Cancer Femme is about to stand up to a matriarchal Virgo Feminine in a huge way. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in how it resonates, matriarchal Virgo Femme. You could have uh, Virgo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamer, Jupiter charts. You're a matriarch of your family, I'm presuming, ma'am. Um, and you are a matriarch of your family, Virgo Feminine. It's a Cancer Femme about to stand up to you in a huge way. I heard it's about to shock you. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. This is your Cancer energy. Dragonfly. Um, I heard it was a Cancer Feminine. So just let you know. It's a Cancer fan. Dragonfly. A Libra feminine that was once a very positive part of your life, business and money, it is completely turned around, completely. Energy is completely shifted. You're about to stand up to this person in a huge way. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates, whoever this person is. Um, I feel you can be masculine or feminine Virgo, um, have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. It's a, a Libra, Fem. She could have Libra in any aspects of her charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hamid, Jupiter charts. Her she was a very positive, integral part of your life in the past regarding business and money. So somehow you guys made money together or did business together or something of that nature. It doesn't sound like it's, it sounds, I heard the energy is completely shifted, so you've either lost a lot of money now, or y'all are not doing business together, or the business is tainted to the ground, or something. But however that resonates, um, it doesn't sound like you're making money, or you're losing money, or it has ended, however that resonates. But however that resonates, um, the energy has shifted, and I heard you're about to turn it around on her. So you plug it in how it resonates. She's about to ever regret this, ever. Okay, I heard she's about to ever regret it, ever. So I feel you can be masculine if you're in Virgo. Um, but you're, I, I heard she's about to ever regret it. So somehow a contract was involved, a false contract. A false contract was involved, a false contract. So somehow a false contract was involved in some kind of money and business aspect. You're about to turn it around on her. I feel you're about to lawyer up or you already have lawyered up. I didn't hear that. Intuitive, intuitively, I just feel you either already have lawyered up or you're about to lawyer up. Somehow, you know it was a false contract or you're about to find out it is because I heard false contract. So, great personal sorrow. I feel um, and unsettled times need to plan ahead. I think it's this false contract you were involved, involved with with some kind of business and money in the past and you're about to have strength. I feel you're about to lawyer up or you're about to lawyer up, but only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Virgo. You're about to have strength, I think, to visit a lawyer or you already have visited a lawyer regarding this false contract. However, that resonates and applies, Virgo, if that resonates for you, okay? Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Only you know the actions you're going to take, not anybody else. So you, but I do feel lawyer up energy. I didn't hear that. Intuitively, I just feel it, but I did hear false contract. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. A grandchild is about to betray a Virgo in a huge way. For one, it's a child. For one, it's a grandchild. For one, it's a, a husband. For one, it's a wife. Oh, Lord. So, for one of you guys, it's a grandchild. For one, it's a child. For one, it's a husband. For one, it's a wife. It's about to betray you. A lot of 50 swords in the back energy here. Um, you're about to have, have strength. Either this husband, this wife, uh, I'm feeling legally married here, legally married husband, legally married wife, grandchild or child is about to betray you. You're about to have to have a lot of strength and they betray you. It sounds like they haven't done it yet, but they're about to. Um, and I think it's going to cause unsettled times and you're going to have to plan ahead when they betray you. Uh, it's going to give you great personal sorrow when they betray you. 
if this resonates for you, Virgo, um, it's either your legally married husband, legally married wife, your grandchild, or your um, uh, child, um, foster or biological grandchild or um, child, I'm feeling, but only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But heavy betrayal energy, like 10 of swords, 50 swords energy here, um, upcoming. If that resonates for you, you're going to have to have a lot of strength to get through it. If that resonates, then applause. Um, and I think it's going to make things very bumpy in your life. If that resonates and applies for you, it's going to give you lots of sorrow, great personal sorrow. There's about to be a death in a Virgo's life soon. For one, you will go to the funeral. For one, you will not. There's about to be death in a, a death in a Virgo's life soon. For one, you're going to go to the funeral. And for one, you will not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of death energy. Uh, Virgo, for one, I heard you're going to go to the funeral, and for one, you will not. So it's going to give you lots of sorrow, and it's going to, I think, it's going to give you unsettling times, and you're going to have to have strength to get through it. It's not, obviously not you, it's somebody you're connected to about to pass away, whoever this person is, uh, and how that resonates. For one, it's a co-worker. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's a community member. For one, it's a co-worker. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's a community member. So for one of you guys, it's a co-worker. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's a community member. Um, how that resonates and applies, this death energy. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's a co-worker. For one, it's a community, me community member. It's going to give you great, great personal sorrow when they pass away. You're going to have to have strength. One, you're going to go to the funeral. For one, you won't. Maybe for one, if you don't go, you send flowers or condolences or something of that nature. My condolences for whoever is about to pass away and how this resonates in your life, um, Virgo. For one, it's someone you grew up with. For one, it's someone you grew up with. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. My condolences to whoever is about to pass away. That's whoever, I'm sorry, whoever that's for. Basket, recognition, re reward for merit. A Virgo is about to find out they're pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of them. A Virgo is about to find out they're um, pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Well, congratulations if you want to be pregnant. Um, I know the Roe versus Wade has been reversed, so I, I mean... I'm presuming everybody has to keep it these days, but uh, whether you want it or not, but hopefully you want it. Congratulations to whoever that's for. Um, if you want the baby um, or babies, I mean, I didn't hear if it was one, two, three, or ten. So um, whoever that's for that's about to find out you're pregnant, her, her is about to shock you. So that could be a positive shock or a negative shock. However, that resonates and applies, Virgo. That's really beautiful if you want it. Um, hopefully you do. Just saying, just saying. That could be the unsettled times you need to plan ahead as well. Um, you're not expecting this pregnancy. It's going to be very unexpected. You're going to have to have a lot of strength. A younger Virgo. A younger Virgo. So you're a younger Virgo. I feel you could be 35, 34, or below and have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. For one, it's baby one. For one, it's baby three. For one, it's baby five. Holy shit. Whoa, there's three of you. Oh, my God. For one, it's going to be baby one, so your first baby. For one, it's baby three. For one, it's baby five. Five. Holy shit, a moly. So, for one, it's baby one. So, first baby. Congratulations. For one, it's baby three. So, third baby. For one, it's baby five. Man, I couldn't imagine five. Holy crap. But some people, you know, hey, everybody's different. So, congratulations, whoever you are. Whoa. 
and you are younger, so 35, 34, below, I'm feeling, uh, whether it's baby one, baby three, or baby five. Oh, man. Recognition, reward for merit. A Scorpio has really been trying to hide a Leo feminine. They do not, this Scorpio masculine does not want her to be recognized. But through many series of chain of events, she will be recognized. Know this. Okay, I heard a Scorpio masculine really does not want a uh, Leo feminine to be recognized. Um, but I heard, I heard he's really trying to hide her and control the situation, basically. But I heard through many series of chain of events, she will be recognized and, re and rewarded. In a huge positive way, you need to hear this. In a huge positive way, you need to hear this. So whoever you are, Virgo, you can be masculine or feminine, but it's some kind of very controlling, domineering, Scorpio masculine. Um, I heard he really doesn't want her to be recognized and rewarded uh, for something. Whatever she's supposed to be recognized and rewarded for, however that resonates and applies. But I heard through many series of chain events, she will be whether he wants her to be or not. So whoever the Scorpio masculine and Leo feminine is to you, Virgo, uh, I heard he really doesn't want her to be. So you could want her to be rewarded and um, recognized or not. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But I heard one of you guys really needs to hear this. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Um, so this, in this aspect, it's a Leo feminine about to get recognized and rewarded, uh, awarded, whether this controlling, domineering Scorpio masculine wants her to be recognized and Award, rewarded or awarded or not. How that resonates and applies. And for one, you're about to get bonus pay at work. Finally. Oh, wow. Congratulations. And for one, you're about to get bonus pay at work. Finally. Congratulations, whoever that's for. So recognition, reward for merit. I heard finally. So uh, apparently it's come a while for the bonus pay. But, uh, but apparently you're about to get it, some kind of bonus pay. So recognition, reward for merit in your work, you're about to get bonus pay uh, for at least one of you guys. So congratulations. I think you're about to be very uh, happy and have a lot of strength. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Hell, I'd be happy too. I heard it um, finally. So I think it's been a hot minute um, or never has happened. How that resonates and applies. <clears throat> and for one Virgo you you have been working on a creative project independently and you're about to get lots of financial reward from this you're very smart and very creative well, congratulations, smart and creative Virgo. Um, I heard you've been working very independently on a very creative project, independently by yourself, independent creative project. I heard uh, soon you're about to get rewarded financially for it. So you've done it all on your own by yourself, and it's very creative, whatever you have done. Um, and you're about to get rewarded financially for it. Uh, Virgo Feminine, you're a Virgo Fem. So you're a highly creative, independent thinker, independent type Virgo Femme. You can have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Sounds like you've already created this, creative work or works. Um, you're about to get rewarded financially for it. So recognition, financial recognition, um, because of all your hard work, if that resonates for you, um, Virgo Femme. You can be Virgo Femme, have any aspects of Virgo in your chart. Um, I think it might make other haters jealous. Um, great personal sorrow. It's going to make the haters hate. But, you know, the haters can hate, and that's just the damn truth. Um, congratulations to where that's for. I believe if you put the hard work in, especially, and if you put the hard work in, you should get financial re reward and merit for it, and that's just the damn truth. Um, congratulations, if that resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else.
a very low vibrational Virgo masculine, Gemini masculine, Scorpio masculine, Libra feminine, Pisces femme. It's about to be connected to a pedophile ring soon. And sex trafficking. It's about to shock the hell out of a very high vibrational Virgo. And for one high vibrational Virgo, you're about to deliver information on this pedophile ring and sex trafficking ring of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So pedophile ring, sex trafficking ring of the past, if that resonates for you. Um, it's a low vibrational Virgo. They're all low vibrational. Virgo, masculine, Gemini masculine, Scorpio masculine, Pisces femme, Libra femme. Uh, I do believe. You have to go back and check for the exact, si exact signs. There was a lot of them. Um, one of you high vibrational Virgos is about to deliver information on the sex trafficking ring and pedophile ring of the past and help bust these assholes. For one, you're high vibrational. It sounds like you've stayed away from it or out of it or didn't want to be accomplice to it or what have you, what have you, and you're about to be shocked because they're about to be busted. But for one high vibrational Virgo, you're about to deliver information on these assholes, low vibrational assholes that were part of some kind of pedophile ring and sex trafficking ring. So kudos to the high vibrational one about to deliver the information on these assholes, just for real, for real. For, but for one, it sounds like you've stayed out of it or stayed away from it and you didn't want to be connected to it like accomplice energy and you're about to be shocked because they're about to be busted. It is some kind of sex trafficking and pedophile ring of the past, if that resonates for you. Um, for the one about to deliver information on these assholes, you're about to have strength to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're about to have strength to do it. And the one that's about to find out I think maybe you, they're family members or community members or co-workers or something. And there's a reason you wanted to stay away from it. And you're about to have strength when you find out they're about to be busted. But for, kudos to this person about to deliver the information on these assholes. I'm just being for real. That's the right thing to do. And congratulations to whoever that's for. Um, if that resonates and applies for you. I think you're going to get recognition and reward for merit. And have the strength to, um, strength to bust these assholes. Or at least I hope you do. Hope you do get rewarded for it. Reward money will definitely come into play for sure. Good evidence on these assholes. Oh my God, I heard reward money definitely will come into play. Uh, reward money will definitely come into play. Good information on these assholes, evidence. So you have some kind of evidence. I don't know if it's text messages, group chats, emails, receipts screenshots, links to websites of dark web energy or what have you, what have you. But I've heard reward money will come into play. So it sounds like the recognition and reward for merit here is reward money that you will be rewarded because it sounds like you have evidence or you're about to garner evidence on them and you're about to, I don't know who you're going to send it to. I don't know. Only you know that. I don't know if it's police or feds or PI or whoever, whoever, but Whoever you're about to send it to, it's about to be substantial evidence and I heard reward money. So um, whoever that's for, at least one Virgo in the universe, only you know your situation story, not anybody else, but at least one of you guys, it sounds like you're going to get reward money for helping bust these, this sex trafficking and pedophile ring up. Um, kudos to you. You've got some evidence or you're about to garner it. I'll tell you that. Kudos to you. I did hear reward money, but that's at least for one of you guys. Um, now. There's a 14,200 and something, some of you guys. So I'm not saying all you guys are going to get reward money. I'm not saying that. But at least one of you guys, it sounds like, going to get reward money for that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay? Kudos. And the other person, they're going to be shocked. But it sounds like these assholes should go down. And that's just the truth. An Aquarius Feminine too. An Aquarius Fem too. And an Aquarius Fem over here. And an Aquarius Fem. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I think we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.